Should you make a move to buy or sell real estate right now? We're hearing all these words about, is it a crash? Is it a correction? The market is indeed shifting. What should you do? Hi, I'm Veronica Woods from Daniel Woods Real Estate, and welcome to the Real Estate Wisdom Channel, where we share tips to keep more money in your pocket, whether you're buying and selling real estate, we share market updates in the Philadelphia metro area, and we share tips about building a profitable rental property portfolio. We have a lot of content really focused on helping investors make decisions, even if they're, they're at the beginning of their career. In this video, we're gonna share a glimpse of what's going on in the real estate market in the Philadelphia metro area, specifically Delaware County in this video. Now you're gonna see, or you do see, a lot of headlines out, out there. And I wanna just give a couple takeaway high level points before jumping into the statistics. First, yes, indeed, everyone is in the real estate market, especially as professionals, are feeling a shift in the market. But what we're not seeing is what happened in 2008. So no one is forecasting that it's going to be a repeat of 2008. But quite frankly, we were all kind of watching the tea leaves and just really paying attention to the numbers as we see things trend month over month and really it's a good time to compare back to pre-pandemic level so a lot of what i'm going to share with you is kind of comparing where we, where we are now to where the market was in q3 2019 before there was a pandemic and everybody had five types of masks to put on also it's important to not just look at the national headlines and national statistics Real estate is local. That is one of the main tenets of investing in real estate and, and buying and selling real estate, even as a traditional homeowner. You have to look at your local market. So Philadelphia was not San Francisco, Phoenix, or Atlanta during these last two years, seeing averages of you know 40% um, appreciation and where there were bidding wars, 50,000, 100,000 over asking price. That didn't happen here in Philadelphia. Although, for those those of you who invested or bought and sold in the past, we did see a very healthy appreciation. But overall, I would say Philadelphia is still considered a very affordable market. And even in Philadelphia, it's important to look even hyper-local at neighborhood or micro-markets. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the western suburban county of Delaware County. In a future video or my next video, I'm going to talk about the Q3 trends in Philadelphia. I'm going to focus more on West Philadelphia, the market that I really do active business in for, for that video. So with that, let's jump into the stats. The first chart just looks at Delaware County market as a whole, dating back from September 2019, pre-pandemic, up until September 2022. And what you what should jump out first in this chart is that the three lines run relatively together tightly. So that's the blue line. As new homes are listed, they're pretty much sold or, or placed under contract. So that's what kind of represents the tight... Um, correlation or tie between those three lines over the over the time period. Now you would know, notice more of a separation um, in the blue line from the red and black line back in September 2019. That speaks to a little higher inventory levels than we have now. Um, and Delaware County is by the days of supply available 1.4 um, at the end of September. You would still call that a, a seller's market. Now, I'm not showing the overall active listings over this period, but if I would add a fourth line, it would appear relatively flat over the, the time period, especially in the last year. So really, we have not seen a big surge in listings um, that not were immediately kind of lapped up by the buyers, either investors or traditional home buyers over the period. Now, I would say one of the reasons why I'm doing a separate video for Philadelphia versus Delaware County is because Philadelphia has built up more overall 
Um, if you look at the stats for Philadelphia County overall, the days of supply at the end of September was 3.9 versus the 1.4 that I just mentioned about um, Delaware. Now, one thing to point out at the, the tail end of the, the chart, um, looking at the last few months, is that you'll see a decline in the red line or the under contract pending sales. And that line starts to decline right around April when the Fed start raising the mortgage rates or Fed starts ra raising the interest rates, which put pressure on the lending rates that investors were willing to make and therefore rising interest rates. So January, the interest, uh, the mortgage rate was 3%. Now in October, we're talking about 7% mortgage rate so quite a leap and that really had an impact on both buyers and sellers so you'll see the decrease in pending sales is a direct correlation to the affordability challenge created by the rising rising mortgage rates buyers all of a sudden saw their monthly mortgage payments jump 40 percent some in some cases and so that really forced people to either look at smaller homes or smaller sales prices or kind of wait wait it out and wait and see if there's going to be any kind of correction in the mortgage rates and the sellers on the other hand didn't leap to put their homes on the market despite seeing all that appreciation because if they were downsizing or upsizing or ultimately buying selling their house to buy another home they were really thinking seriously do i want to trade the four percent interest rate that I have right now on my current monthly payment for a 7% mortgage um, mortgage rate on my new home. And so that really is, it has been a factor of, you know, where am I going to go? Can I afford to move and buy another house has been a factor on the market. And that's why uh, we've seen a decline in sales. And for Delaware County, for Q3, 2022 year over year it was a 42 percent decline in sales now we've seen prices continue to rise but at a slower rate year over year and this was really forecasted so this is really not a surprise here uh, but you can see i've just picked the, the some of the, the top markets in terms of volume of sales and activity or interest in investors to, sh to showcase. There's 43 municipalities in Delaware County, I always uh, remind people, uh, but I'm showing to focus on these five that I, I personally study the most. Um, so you can see each one has an uptick in pricing quarter over quarter, trending back from Q 2019. If I had a 2018 chart, it would also show um, continuing appreciation. Now you will notice that all these markets are still below the median for Delaware County, which is for Q3 2022 was 303,000. But it, it is important to note that the rate of increase, if you look at between the yellow bar of 2021 and the black bar of 2022 has declined. Um, so the, the biggest jump would be that, that Chester um, jump between 2022 and 2021, which was a 68% increase. And I looked at some of the sales. There were a number of totally remodeled rehabs that really did command um, large prices in Q3 2023. Um, also above the median um, Delco price appreciation, which was about 12% quarter over quarter. Um, was Clifton Heights, which was about a 19% price increase from 2021. And the Lansdowne, which also includes Yaden and East Lansdowne, had about a 22% price increase. Now you may be thinking, all right, that's great news if you're a seller, but are there some, is there some good news out there for Delaware County if you're a buyer? One thing that I could share that would be good news is that buyers did get larger discounts in Q3 2022 as it compared to Q3 2021. You can see from this chart, it's not quite the level of discounts that people got in 2019 and 2020, but it is trending in the direction where 
people are not automatically bidding over asking price in a number of areas. And so you see the negative um, bars represent discounts and the ones above the line represents premiums. But what you can see for each of the, the neighborhoods or markets is a decline in the discount or the increase in the discount uh, between 2021 and 2022. The other positive news for buyers is that days on market have been trending up. So, you know, not, it's no longer the days when something goes on the market and then hours um, before you even get a time to book your appointment, it's already pending under contract. Um, so I'm experiencing that as just a day-to-day -day as a, a real estate broker. But this chart also points to it statistically in terms of, again, if you look at um, not quite uh, 2019 levels, but if you compare the 2021 and the 2022 bars, we're headed in that direction. Uh, the markets that had the biggest increases in days on market, um, looking um, Q3 2022 between 2021, were um, the Drexel Hill area, which had a 45% increase in days on market, and Darby had about a 53% um, increase. And actually, a couple of them had solid double-digit increases in, in days on market. And you can see um, pretty much it's still hovering under 30 for mo 30 days for most of the markets but again i think we're really trying to look at trends and are we seeing kind of going back to a market that's more similar to pre-pandemic levels than the kind of crazy market that we've been seeing and experiencing over the last two years before i wrap up the stats i do want to share a little about the rental market now i would jump up and down and say I'm still very optimistic about rental property investing here in Delaware County, largely for the same trends that I talked just discovered about what's happening with the, the mortgage rates and that impact on buyers. So there's a, you know, first time home buyers are really struggling in this market with interest rates doubling for them and their housing affordability really under pressure. But that means there will probably be a larger pool or more qualified renters for that need a three fam or three bedroom house. So the single family rental market um, is likely to have a positive impact or be positively impacted by what's going on in the buying those same homes. So I'm just going to share trends with two two different markets uh, chester and drexel hill they both kind of share the same similar trend that have you looking at the chester three bedroom um, rental rates which if trending back from 2020 definitely very healthy appreciate appreciation this is just three bedrooms the the greenish line is three bedrooms only and then the deeper blue is all rentals from studios to five bedroom homes. So they're pretty similar because um, this chart shows about 45% of the overall rentals, and at least that I have data from, are three bedrooms, and it reached a peak of 1395 as a median in October 2022. And then if you look at Drexel Hill for the same period, um, again, the, the, the lighter blue or greenish line, greenish blue line represents just three bedrooms and the darker blue is overall rentals. Um, there's a kind of a bump in the overall rentals because Drexel Hill has quite a few, uh, four and five bedroom homes that are, are sold over, or rented for over 2,100. So that kind of had bumped up the average and it, Yes, looking kind of in 2020, uh, but you can see it kind of levels out uh, once we get to um, 2022. But uh, the 1900 is the median three bedroom rent um, that, that I found for Drexel Hill. So I know I covered a lot of stats on on today's video. I think the important, most important takeaway is you have to look at the local market where you want to buy or sell. It's not enough to look at the 
averages for the Metro or definitely not the national averages and really be prepared to peel back the onion when you see headlines that are meant to scare you or to sell advertising because there are opportunities everywhere. People are still making money right now buying and selling real estate. And if you want more about how maybe you should shift up how you're thinking about evaluating deals, you'll want to check out the video that's appearing on the screen now. As always, thanks for watching. Give me your comments about future video topics and happy investing.